Okay, we're going to do a locking Brummel splice. First thing I'm going to demonstrate is just the basics of the locking Brummel. First thing is you take your long end of your rope and you bring that back up to create your loop. you have your first end brought through, you can take your second shorter end bring it up and through and then what you've done is gone two different directions to create yourself a locked loop. You have your long end and your short end and this piece you can now simply tuck into the center of your rope to create a locking Brummel splice. For a piece which is connected to your reel or a longer length of rope, you can take your rope here, take your longer end and double it up as I've already done with the tape. Take your end which I'm grabbing, stuff it through your doubled up end, takes a little bit of work double it up through, go ahead Peel this off, and you have your end, which I just did. I just pulled through my doubled end. Now I'm going to take my loop end, which I had, and I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to invert or inside out this loop which will create an inside out loop over your line. Then you can take your short end, take your tape, again run it through your single and you've created a locking Brummel splice. And then you can take your end with your fit if you like, or you could simply knot it off if you liked, or you can take your fit and take your tool and proceed to stuff it down the center of your line. and pull it out at your desired point and cut off as necessary. There you have your locked Brummel splice.